Hey guys, even here uh, we got Tampa Pro 2024 and the winner ended up being John De La Rosa. Very, very surprisingly, especially after watching the pre-judging of this show. Yesterday I had him winning because he placed fourth at the Arnold Classic and he seemed like he was bringing solid conditioning at this show and also because he made improvements, he was six pounds heavier. So I thought it would be enough against uh, Mofura, but after watching the pre-judging of this show, I definitely, most certainly changed my mind. I thought it was obvious, obvious that Mofura is winning this. Now I want to take a moment to congratulate John for qualifying for the Mr. Olympia and to Patrick Tour, who brought him at his absolute best. You know, I don't think he could have done anything better, like he was bigger, he was improved, he was in condition. But in my opinion, this was not enough to win this show. I feel like this was a clear, clear-cut robbery. Like, there wasn't one this year. This is the worst robbery of the year. They clearly gave it to John because he wasn't qualified for the Mr. Olympian. He is that kind of a bodybuilder that should be there. I mean, I don't know how this works. I mean, are these judges talking to Mr. Olympia people and uh, the other promoters involved, I don't know how it works, but I think it's just so obvious that this was not supposed to happen, when this shift happened here, when uh, Jordan Hutchinson was in the middle, I thought for sure they were comparing Jordan to John to see who's second, I thought it was so clear that Mofura was winning this show, However, they actually moved Mofura to the side because he wasn't winning this show. They left John in the center because he was the winner from the start. How? I have zero clue. So let's take a look at his prejudging. Let's go pose for pose and let's try and figure out how John De La Rosa could have won this thing because it makes zero sense whatsoever. So front relax. Let's start with front relaxed. But also, look, I gotta make it clear, I mean, I wasn't there at the show, I don't know what it looked like in person, so maybe there was something, some reason why they, why the judges punished Mofura, like maybe there was some obvious sight enhancement oil, or like a bad shot, or like uh, something, some, something else, I don't know, I mean, I, I'm only guessing here, because I didn't see anything, on the live stream, on the photos, on the videos, he looked like a clear winner to me, Mofura did. If you guys were there, if you heard anything, any explanation, or you feel like John actually deserved the win, tell us down below in the comment section, but let's go pose for pose once again, let's start with the front legs, so who's winning this one, John or Mofura? <laughs> is this even a question <laughs> just compare the legs compare the, the the width of the chest the the fullness in the in the shoulders and the chest as well i mean the entire flow of the physique Mofura, clear winner in this pose clear winner you can even argue that jordan hutchinson here is second then as far as the front double bicep come on guys is this even close is this even remotely close Come on, look at this, look at the legs, look at the biceps, look at the uh, X frame, look at the lats, everything, really, I mean, I would even go as far as to say that I'm not sure if John is second here, I'm not even sure if John is beating Vlad and Jordan, but I'm 100% I'm sure that Mofura is winning in this one. I mean, I get it, the man has a big name, he's an old school bodybuilder, he has been very popular since very long time ago, he needs to go to the Mr. Olympia, when I was watching the prejudging, I actually thought to make a video that I would title the mistake John De La Rosa made, and the mistake would be that he didn't continue competing after the Iron Classic, that the mistake was skipping the Detroit Pro, because there he would have bigger chances against um, Martin Fitzwater, who wasn't at his absolute best like he was at the New York Pro, because because while watching the prejudging, I was 100% sure that he has zero chances of beating Mofura here. However, I was really surprised. And I can only come up with one reason why he won, and that's just the fact that he needs to go to the Mr. Olympia, and they gifted him this win. I mean, let's be real, guys. What poses did he win? Like, let's go next pose, front freaking lat spread. Mofura is destroying him, he's destroying everybody in this lineup, and again, you could even argue that John is not even second here, I mean, yeah, okay, let's give him second overall, you're gonna see the back shots as well, and side poses, but front poses, he's basically, almost, he's, he's fighting against these two, other, these two other guys for second and third, right, 
I mean, against Mufura in the front shots, he stands no chance, let's be real. He completely annihilated him here, it's not even close, it's not even funny. The legs, the difference is just way too big, the width in the shoulders, the freaking axe frame, and as far as conditioning, let's say that maybe, maybe John is a little bit sharper, and you can see it especially from the back and a little bit from the side, but not that much. Now, in the side poses, it was definitely closer, like, uh, John was a little bit sharper and he was, like, overall more polished, but uh, Mofura seemed wider, bigger, thicker, so, I mean, le let's say this one is a tie, le or let's give this one to John, that's one pose for so far. And sure, I guess we can give him the back uh, double bicep, as I expected before this show, John has a really good, really sharp back as well, and Mofura, especially in the back double bicep, Mofura is not great, and uh, John is actually very good in, these, in, this, in this one shot, as far as the back lat spread, it's much closer, but overall back shots, it's only two shots, and they are much closer than the fraud shots are. I mean, John is beating him in these two, but he's not annihilating him the way Mofura is annihilating John in the front shots. And the side tricep, I give this one to Mofura for sure, not to John De La Rosa. I mean, the width, the thickness, the shape of the physique, uh, also you can see some, you know, weed taper action going on, and like axe frame and stuff in the side tricep, so I give this one to Mofura as well. So, so far, Mofura is winning the majority of the poses for sure. As far as the absent eyes, come on, let's not even joke about it, look at John's legs, compare them to Mofura's legs. Now, maybe this wasn't the best conditioning of Mofura, maybe he was a little bit sharper at uh, Chicago, but I'm not even sure. It was close, this is close to that, to that edition, and John, pff, I mean, I, I guess this is his best ever, but against this guy, I don't know, I don't know, I definitely didn't see it this way. Based on the way they were moving these guys, it did seem like John was winning, but I thought, no chance, I thought the judges were doing this to confuse us, not to make it too clear who's winning based on the way they move them, but yeah, you know, I guess that meant that uh, John was winning, how beats me, beats me, I have no idea, because of the back double, I mean, that's, that's it, really, look at this, look at the difference here, come on, come on, don't tell me this wasn't a robbery. This was a gifted victory for sure, because John De La Rosa should go to the Mr. Olympia, and Mofura is already qualified. That's the way I see it. I think it's very clear. There is an argument to be made that like these guys are not in agreement with the Olympia guys. That's a separate show. These, guys, these, these shows are just qualifiers. The promoters who are running these shows have nothing to do with the Olympia people and neither do the judges, I, I understand that, I mean, when you say stuff like this, it sounds like a conspiracy theory, but uh, I don't know, what else could make sense, like, is there, was there something that we can't see, like, in these videos, like, maybe the conditioning was that much different in person, but come on, I mean, look at his photos, like, you can even argue that John was uh, softer, especially from the, from the front, like, it looked like he was holding some water, honestly, I felt like Mufura was, uh, you know, harder and, and, and drier from the front. I mean, from the from the back, sure, John was better, but not by that much. Not by as much as Mufura was better than John in the front poses. Anyways, guys, tell me what do you think? John ended up winning, and Mufura took second. Definitely not the way I thought this was gonna play out, but it is what it is. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what the people think yet, I'm gonna make a poll on my channel so I can see what people think actually, but feel free to tell me down below, do you agree with me or do you agree with the decision? Whatever your thoughts may be, make sure to leave the comment down below and tell me what they exactly are, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos like this guys, please subscribe to this channel, thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.